There are fears tomorrow morning's arraignment of Donald Trump could turn violent amid growing chatter from extremist groups. The former president has touched down in Miami ahead of his court appearance on his historic federal indictment. But as our US correspondent Catherine Furkin reports, police are combing through online forums for potential threats. A small but enthusiastic welcome for Donald Trump. Cheered on by supporters as he arrived into Miami this afternoon ahead of his historic court arraignment. What they've done is they've rallied a lot of the American people behind Trump. Crowds also gathered outside his hotel where fans trotted out some familiar lines. It feels a bit like a witch hunt to me. Come tomorrow, authorities fear protester numbers could multiply into their thousands when Trump is brought before a Miami court charged with some of the nation's most serious federal crimes. We're bringing enough resources to handle crowd anywhere from 5,000 to 50,000. Security around the court precinct has been heightened amid reports the extremist group, the Proud Boys, could be organizing a pro-Trump rally. Make no mistake about it, we're taking this, uh, this event extremely serious. Violent online rhetoric has surged since the indictment, not helped by veiled threats like this. If you want to get to President Trump, you're going to have to go through me and you're going to have to go through 75 million Americans just like me. Most of us are card-carrying members of the NRA. Insiders say that Donald Trump has been scrambling this evening to assemble the legal team that will represent him here tomorrow. But far more important than who will appear for him is how they intend on fighting the most serious charges he's ever faced. The classified files that were allegedly stored in a bathroom, a ballroom and spilled on a storage room floor contain some of America's most guarded secrets, including nuclear and military capabilities. This was a risk to national security beyond calculation. Trump himself has remained defiant since his indictment, even mocking the charges. They want to use something called the Espionage Act. Doesn't that sound terrible? Oh, espionage. We got a box. But things are about to get very real for the former reality TV star, who is now not just fighting to return to the White House, but to avoid ending up in the big house. Catherine Furkin for 10 News First, Miami.